blast talking to comedian Vicki Barbalock in, in town performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. Uh, people apparently love you so much. Your show tonight at 7.30 is sold out. Your show tomorrow night is already sold out. The first shows. Yeah, so right. this is awesome. There's so, plenty of room in the second show, yeah, everybody. Yeah, the second show at 10 o'clock. She's got room tonight at 10 and tomorrow night at 10, but the tickets are selling fast. Yeah. Vicki Barbalock here, um, you were a top 10 finalist and fan favorite on America's Got Talent. I, I got so lucky. Yeah. That was like a big old break for the old gal. I will, let's talk about that because you got started in, in, in comedy a lot later than most other people. Yeah. I you was were like, what, 38 years I old, which is still young. Well, no, it, it's, in LA though, it's, it's over. <clears throat> right, you're, you're done. But then you're 23, you're old, and you really should stop. But I didn't know, <laughs> thank God, or I wouldn't have tried. <laughs> right. But I, I was like literally 40 when I was walking out in my first like open mics. Wow. And, uh, and, and I have had so much fun doing it. It's like, yeah. my, but, and I, and I didn't know if I would ever really be successful, but I knew I would get good. That was my only plan. Like Steve Martin said, get so good they can't ignore you. Yeah, yeah. That was my only plan. Well, how did but, you get started in comedy though? Like, you know, you, you'd been married, you had your kids, and then w w how, did, how does a person then go, I'm literally a comedian? This is going to sound weird, but I was in the bathroom one day, and there's a little ad sticking out of the trash can in the bathroom, and I said, stand up comedy class. I picked it up. And just for a lark, yeah. I went there, and it was Polly Shore's sister, Sandy, teaching the class at the La Jolla Comedy Store. And, um, and I, I just walked into that class with three big books so that people would think I was smart. <laughs> I was so shy, and I was so stupid. But I walked in there, and I just I instantly loved it, and... And just got hooked. Yeah, you got hooked. Well, you must have had some talent, though, because obviously, you know, you aced that class, and then you went on to, well, to do a, other great things. I was a fat little kid, and I always got that first fat joke out. And anything that ever happened good to me in my life, like I, I sold carpet at my parents' store for 20 years, and I didn't care if people buy carpet for me. I didn't care, le I care less. But if they didn't laugh at my joke, I would stay up all night. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to sell them carpet, and then you were going to make them laugh, yeah, too, I mean, while that, they're I mean, at that's it. That's all I cared about was making yeah. them laugh. And, but so, yeah. so you always were a comedian. You always had the, the, the desire to make people laugh, I right? I think it's, it's something... Some comics are like that. Yeah. It's like they really like making people laugh all the time. Yeah. And then some comics, when they're off stage, are like... Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, I, I've always just love to see people laugh yeah I could. but so here you are you know a woman in comedy you're funny you obviously are, you've got it you know you, you've got it you're a fan favorite and a finalist but um and now you're traveling and you get to share what you love oh it's so what did your kids fun. did your kids think you were funny when, when they were growing up i mean did you you know i feel like i try to be a clown for yeah. my kids because yeah. i want to see them laugh absolutely i think i think my my daughters we always laughed you know i mean and they were so good about it i mean i literally told my parents sell the shop i went from you know having money and fine into instant poverty and buying a trailer for my daughters and i to live in and they've been so on board with it and they were raised around the, my girlfriend comics and and we they celebrate laughter and they've and they and they've given up a lot so i can do this really i felt so much i felt selfish at times oh. you know like you know literally i always shop for their school clothes at the lost and found box at their school uh. <laughs> and then one day my daughter goes can't you just go to a different school oh. and then i thought genius so i went to a much more expensive school and then i got ball comps and stuff but and, by the way that anyone can do that by the way yeah so you felt guilty <coughs> for pursuing your dream, but you did at, it. At and, times, yeah. Yeah, and now here you are. And now it's just paid off, and I'm I'm just loving this trailer nasty tour and meeting everybody. Last night you, you had to like pull me yeah. out of the club. The people in Rochester were so much fun. Really, you said you said they uh, were just they kept talking we, to me after we the show. Stayed, we stayed out, and like the uh, the owner of the club, Mark's like. Kunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we I'm like, go. okay, but we're yeah. having so much fun on a Thursday night. And I mean, love people that. Here, I'm getting my Facebook is blown up. Tell me, telling me which place to get the garbage. Garbage, the garbage plate. Garbage plate. You gotta get the garbage plate. Uh, so there's plate. a lot of argument about which is the best. So I'm, I'm oh, probably gonna have to get 20 garbage yeah, plates. Yeah, you've got to sample them all. Yeah, you can't exactly. just come to Rochester and not have no, one. I'm so excited. Oh, Vicki Barbalock, don't miss her tonight. We got one more interview with her. We got more time. Thanks. Okay, so listen, we've got tonight. Okay, 10 o'clock, and then tomorrow night, Saturday night, 10 o'clock. The early shows already sold out. Don't even bother. Don't yeah. even bother. 10 o'clock tonight, the tomorrow. Second shows are the best though. That's when the partying is happening. Ooh. Yeah, that's when it gets loose. Mark, you're gonna have to really kick her off. She's not going to lose it. I'm bringing my nightgown. I have nightgown. a bad feeling. You're, you're bringing your nightgown, right? Bring your PJs to the 10 yeah, o'clock show. You're all, staying all night. It's a big night. sleepover tonight yeah. with Vicki. Uh, okay, awesome. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back and, and talk more with Vicki uh, when we come back.